Good day folks. Today I'm going to be reviewing the children's game Kerplunk. This game came out in 1967 and it is for two to four players. Uh, now the version I have is the Mattel version. And this came out probably in 2010 or so and this is a game that you can still get today. Uh, the object of this game is you're going to be trying to pull out these sticks in this unique contraption that's holding up these marbles with the sticks and what you're trying to do is you're trying to make sure that no marbles fall out after you pull uh, out the stick. Uh, so let's show you the one. Okay everybody, let us go ahead and show you the components and everything. Uh, we will start with these little sticks over here. And what you have is you've got this uh, component that's got uh, two tubes here on the top and the bottom. And then in the middle, um, there's a little section that has a whole bunch of holes. And before you uh, stick the marbles in here, which is right over here, you're going to stick these sticks in just various places over here. And what these are going to do is make a dam of sorts. And uh, they're going to basically be holding these marbles in. Now on the very bottom, you've got a tray here. and uh, each of the trays are sectioned off one, two, three, and four. Uh, when it is your turn, you're going to turn the tray to your, your station like so. This would be player one. And then you're going to go ahead and pull a stick out. And what you're trying to do is you want to pull out a stick and make sure no marbles fall out. Um, and so after you pull a stick, it will go to the next player. And then the next player will go ahead and turn this thing to him like so. And then he's going to pull out a stick. And then it will go to the next player, etc. So let's just go ahead and say that I've got a two-player game going over here. Now, I have not put in all the sticks. Uh, there's a whole bunch more sticks that should be going in here, but typically when you play this game, uh, the first few of these sticks are not going to make the balls move because there's so many in there. But as the game progresses, the marbles are going to start to fall a little more. So anyway, let's just say it's player one's turn, and he goes ahead and pulls this, and he's gotten two marbles that have uh, fallen out. So now, after he's finished, player two is going to go ahead and turn this. Now, if any marbles fall out while player two is turning this, those marbles are going to go to player one. Uh, so let's just say uh, player two goes ahead and turns it, and let me go ahead and give this marble to player one, and it's going to be his turn to pull a stick. So he'll go ahead and pull a stick, and nothing happens. So he's lucky. So back to player one we go, and player one's going to look to see what he can do, and he decides he's going to pull this stick. And then back to player two it goes. So this is basically how it's going to go like this. Uh, now as more sticks start getting pulled out, uh, marbles are going to start to fall more frequently. Uh, right now, they're being held up pretty good here. So let's just keep pulling until some more of these fall. Okay, well there's a big one that just fell for player one. So player one has a big old thing of marbles here, and he just lost another one. So anyway, now it goes to player two, and player two is going to go ahead and pull this one, and he's gotten a whole bunch of marbles that have fallen on his side now. Uh, now typically what you're going to do in this game is you're going to look at the sticks and try to see which sticks are holding up which marbles. Um, and that would basically be a good strategy to employ when you're playing this game. Uh, so this green one isn't doing anything, so player one could just simply pull that. And then it's going to just keep going back and forth until all the marbles have fallen out. And then what everybody's going to do is they're going to go ahead and count all the marbles that are on their side. And the player that has the least amount of marbles is going to win the game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Kerplunk. So my final thoughts on Kerplunk. Um, well, this being a kid's game, it seems to be doing pretty well. It's been around for a long time, and you can still buy it today. Uh, it seems to be a game that the kids enjoy. Uh, now, for adults, well, I'll go ahead and uh, tell you some of the issues that I have with the game. Uh, the first issue is the setup time. Um, you've got a whole bunch of sticks that you need to stick through those little holes there in the middle, and they have to go from one side all the way to the other. And once you start getting a certain number of sticks in there, that gets a lot harder to do because when you stick a stick in there, all of a sudden these other sticks are blocking you. You have to kind of angle it and you got to kind of get it in there to go through one of the holes. And so the setup time can take a little while. Um, another little issue that can happen too is um, anytime you're actually turning the thing and some of the marbles fall out, well, sometimes it could be like seven or eight marbles that fall out and, you know, how are you going to know how many marbles goes to the other side? This is something that you have to think about if you decide to get this game. I think this game probably would just work as a filler uh, because it's one of those gotcha games, I guess you can say, because somebody can pull out a stick and all of a sudden tons of these marbles will be falling out and you'll be like, oh no. Um, and this is a game my wife and I have played and we seem to enjoy it. Um, I would not spend a lot of money on this game. Um, I think you can probably buy it for about $20 at, say, Target or something like that. Um, if you're not 
sure about this game, I would just say no, and I would just try to see if I could find a thrift store version of it, because that way, at least you won't be spending so much money on this game. Uh, uh, this does have its moments, uh, especially when the marbles are starting to fall out and everything. And, of course, there really isn't much strategy, because you're really just going to be trying to look at the sticks and seeing which ones are holding up the marbles. Sometimes that's easy to do. Other times, you just really don't know. Uh, so it does have that factor in there of uncertainty, which I like to have in games. But at the same time, you've got the issues with some of the marbles falling out, and you're not sure how many goes your opponent. Um, and then, of course, you've got the setup time as well. So that's just something to think about. Uh, but I think this would work okay as a filler game, uh, but I would not spend too much money on it. So, y'all, that's my uh, review of Kerplunk. Y'all take care. Keep on gaming.